Okay, today's topic is quite an unusual topic for a martial arts instructor to be talking about. It's about how a guy can win back the love and affection of his woman. Now, this usually happens after about 13 or 14 months of being in a relationship. And scientists have done studies uh, to show that your dopamine, which is your want drug, which is associated with addiction like gambling, smoking, drinking, but also love, begins to die down. And these chemical processes are what first brought you together and, and gives you this intense loving feeling. But after a while, it may start to dissipate and it may start to, to dwindle down. It doesn't mean it's gone forever, it just means you're moving into a reality of the relationship. The problem is in, in built up areas, people tend to, there's lots of choice, think, ah, I need to make a change. And the change is usually just finding a new person. They find a new person after three or four months, maybe a year, um, that loving feeling's gone once more. So maybe what we wanna do is maybe not do that approach and try and work on what we've got already. And there's some tactics for a guy to use for a girl. So the first thing that men make, the first mistake that I find men make in a relationship is that we lose our charm. We use, single men use charm to woo women. They go, uh, that's how the world works. So a, a single man will walk into a bar and a nightclub and he'll see, see a girl he fancies and he, he knows that he's got to be funny, exciting, he's got to be creative, he's got to go and make the opportunity, he's got to entertain her, and she, he woos her off the feet, okay? But what we find in relationships is that the men stop doing that so much, and, they, and I say to them, look, mate, you, what you've got to do, you've got to look at your woman like she's a new girl in a bar and nightclub, and you just fancy her so much, and you've got to woo her, and they go, do I have to? <laughs> okay. Shouldn't she do something for me as well? Like, yes, and some do, but you've got to take it as your responsibility to do it. Throughout centuries and years, men have been chasing women romantically. It doesn't end when you get into relationships. I say, guys, get back your charm and start wooing your woman back over again. The second bit is what you want to do now is remove uh, arguments. So as much as possible, I find arguments are a massive turn off. I don't think there's a really such a thing as a good argument. And a good tactic is to remove the main source of the argument. I'll explain it. A man will go out onto uh, the garden, which is his domain, and uh, which he thinks is his domain, and he may mow the grass. He'll, he'll fix the fence, he'll put up a wonderful shed, and even do some decking. I've got loads of friends that like to do decking. Then he'll come back into, into the house with his um, tools over his shoulder, and he'll, look at, and he'll be pleased with himself, and he'll look at his missus, and the missus will go, yeah, I'm taking the bins out. <laughs> and uh, and, he, and he, he, he's, he just thinks he can't win. But what I recommend, guys, is if you want a happy girlfriend or a happy wife or a happy partner, what you must do is do all the housework. I find it really works. I have friends actually even itemize the housework so that they do more, and it removes a big source of the arguments. A lot of the arguments, if you, especially if you live together, is housework and, 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 doing, and, and keeping things tidy and clean. So really make a big effort on that one. The next bit of advice is, there's a book written by Gary Chapman called The Five Languages of Love. It's an amazing book. And, he, in, the, and he, in the book, he talks about five, the five languages, which I've got to hope I can remember now, which is affirmation, gifts, time, acts, and touch. And each of your missus will probably have a primary one of those. So a common mistake that guys make, for example, would be showering their missus with, with loads of gifts and presents, and she's just looking at him going like, you haven't spent any time with me. So you've got to find out which one's your, what your missus likes the most and try and make sure you hit it. Now moving on to the next segment, in the early 19th century, a guy called Skinner did a test on lab rats and he found that random reward was highly addictive for the rats, but it's also addictive for people. That's why you see in like casinos and gambling environments where there's like a set chance of winning like 25%, people remain addicted to it. They'll pull the one arm bandit watching the wheels go around to the early hours of the morning and yet they're, they're only gonna win, they're, they're gonna end up losing because it's spread out randomly, so it keeps you addicted. People also get uh, caught into bad relationships too because it's a, it was good to me Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, but not, sorry, bad to me Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, but nice Thursday. Because the rewards are spread out randomly, people get stuck in these bad relationships too. So what I recommend doing is using random reward for good, and he'll come into the pinnacle moment now, here it is. This is the main thing that you can, this is a great uh, tactic which you can use to rekindle magic in your relationship. Guys, we get caught into patterns quite regularly. We, get, uh, we can also get quite predictable 
And girls don't really find predictable that attractive all the time. They like dependable, but if you're being predictable and not being creative, it can really dampen down your relationship. So what I recommend doing this is take Gary Chapman's five lounge of love. It might be a massage, it might be presents, it might be you tell her you love her, and you stick it in a box, like a hat, okay? You mix it all around and you pull it out randomly. And what will happen is, is what I, what I really would like to happen for you in your relationship, I hope it does, is that your missus will go up to her friend and go, on Monday, um, he took me out for dinner, two or three days, nothing. Then he did a massage out of the blue, nothing for a day. Then he told me he loved me. He's so spontaneous, he's so exciting, he's so creative. And you will look like a Casanova and you'll really rekindle that magic and put the fire back into it. She doesn't have to know about the hat. You can hide the hat, that'll be a secret between me and you. Um, so that's it. So if I had to re we're gonna summarize it back up. Guys, get your charm back in, okay? Remove the source of the arguments, just cut arguments out, which is the housework. And next thing is take Gary Chapman's five languages of love and spread it out uh, randomly. And also hit, you, hit your missus' primary love need. What does she like most? Does she like being told she, you love her? Or do you like spending time with her? One of those things. That's what I recommend. Now, sometimes there's a time, when do you know when to fight? So I say, I say to my mates, did you love your missus before she became a monster? So before you both became monsters, meaning that when things got, uh, did you love her character traits, who she was, did it work before it got stale and boring and the argument started to happen? If you did, then it's really worth fighting through it and learning some tactics which you can rekindle that magic because it's going to be ups and downs through it. And if you learn these tactics on how to rejuvenate it and spice it back up, your relationship should get better and better and better and grow as a, as a nice healthy relationship. But obviously, if it's not working out, happiness is really important. So there might be a time to throw in the towel as well. But what I recommend doing is really fight for it. And guys, see what your responsibility is and do what you can to rekindle it. Good luck.